Right, so I'm going to do a little, only a three envelope stack today um, for the autumn journal. I haven't got any done up envelopes yet. Um, I've already pre-coffee stained. They're, you know, a little bit torn as well, if you know what I mean. I don't mind that. And they're all different weights and all different types. So they all coffee stain differently, which is great again. If you don't want them all, but that's that. So I'm going to gesso them first. So I've just got my old um, thing here, which actually could do with a clean, I must say. And I'm going to brayer it on. Sorry if I knocked that there. And then once these are dry, I'm going to run some of them, or run them through just a panel through the embossing machine. Right, let's have a look what inks we've got. Um, I might use a bit of fabric, not sure. Spiced marmalade and peeled paint. I'm going to use peel paint first, I think. So I'm going to do it like this today because I, I want it. I don't want too much, if you know what I mean. Um, add a bit of water. And these are all dry now, so. Yeah. Oh, it's quite dark, isn't it? That's all right. That'll go lighter. Um, need a bit on the back there. Okay, and we can always, you know tone it down a bit definitely I'll get a cloth as well and find dab it away a little bit okay might be all right yep yeah, nope I'm happy with that okay that's fine yeah. time that's dry yep yeah. Dry them quickly and then I'm going to do each layer similar. Not 100% dry, but that'll be all right. Right, spice marmalade. technical this bit. <laughs> Let's put a bit like there. That's it. And a bit to there. What else? Yep. I don't mind them sort of contaminating each other. Don't mind that. It's 
quite a dark orange actually you know done like that so that worked really nice with there i'm just te testing it on the side there to see if i like it and it looks fine to me Right, dry them off and then I'll put them through the embossing. <laughs> I forgot, didn't I? <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Okay, sorry folks, it's a bit loud, so I will mute the video. All I'm going to do now is um, stamp around the envelopes and then I'm going to do some decoupage. So, you know, I'll mute the video and fast forward it when I've finished. Okay, so yeah, it's my laser. I, ha I wanted to cut some of it out, so, and, and I also wanted to get these done. So, sorry, folks.
Okay. All right, so they're all nice and dry. Um, I am. I have just done a very delicate postage stamp from... You can't hardly see this. I didn't etch it right on here because the last ones I etched was a different file format and it worked really well. Okay, which, you know, I mean, it's bigger text anyway because I only want to do it lightly or I see, you know, you could be 45 minutes just doing that. So I've done it really, really gently just so that I could see you know, the stamp where I needed to place it and which way up it is. But the stamp is great. It's very delicate, but that's how I wanted it. So I could have made it sort of fatter and that, which I might do. I might play around with it, but it's an original, of an original document of mine. So I wanted to use it. Um, what I feel is that because there's quite a lot going on in here, I might put a bit of gesso in the middle just so that it, it hopefully the address stands out. I'm not, I mean, this one might stand out. Not sure. Let's see anyway. Just want a bit. I can do it with my finger. Just... So I've got to make sure when I do this that I try to sort of keep the middle um, lighter, yeah? Because this one here was really dark in the middle, so that one's still drying. But I've put, because I put the, the stamp on, it looked lovely, but it just, you just didn't see it because there was too much going on. Too much ink there, so note to self. I only got a bit left in here, so come out in the blob in a minute. <laughs> okay, because once you've done that, gesso it tones down a bit plus. You can go back over it, if you know what I mean, if you need to, so, with some ink or something. I just want a lighter base for my stamp. That just pops that back into the background. Yeah, let's look. I'm going to just do that bit at the top there, still showing. I'd already stamped it once and I thought, oh, it's lost with everything else. So I'm cover it up and redo it. Okay, that should be all right. Yeah, I mean the laser. I get it's trial and error because I've got um, I've got my five mil acrylic now to cut, and I thought I didn't know whether it's going to cut on that. I'm all right with the rubber; that's not too bad. But I've got to remember to fatten up my text a bit. But like I said, these are original, you know, as they are on the on the actual postcard, and so I wanted it to look really vintage. So, but when I do sort of proper ones, the the text is a lot fatter. Okay. Nice. I'm going to go on this one first. Hope that's dry enough. Yeah. Should be okay. Yeah, very delicate text on this one. But I love it. I love them looking like that. I mean, I've got to be careful, you know, here and there. But never mind. I still love it. Right, I'm going to put my head forward because I need that top straight. Okay. There we go. Love it. Oh. That's cool. So you've got to be careful stamping onto gesso as well. That's fine. All right. Let's see if we can get that one that there, I reckon. I 
There we go. Love it. Oh, I was so excited doing this because I thought, oh, I can do my own address instead of getting the typewriter out. <laughs> Great. Okay. And let's put that on there. Cover that. This is quite a new stamp, but I've made it look old by inking it up. But I shall stamp over that so you can't see the 25p. I don't know where all my really old ones went. They seem to be... I don't know. I've got a bag of them somewhere. <clears throat> I've got hundreds of them, but thousands, if anything. I got given a load, but of course these are all newish ones, but I like the colours, so... I've got no um, much decoupage on this one. So this one I'm going to rub over the gold and that. Okay. Yeah, and then I've got that one. Actually, sorry, I'm just thinking I'm gonna that's quite big there, that stamp, so that funny. And just put that one there like that. Then I can put that one there. Right there and carry on from there a bit. Yeah. It's much better. It's quite thick um, gesso on that bit though. I was very fortunate it worked. Um, let's have handle with care or something on. Let's have a look. Special handling. There we go. Handle with care. I'm going to put that. Fragile there, that's quite small. There we go. Okay, that one, not sure what I'm putting on that one yet. Not sure the right way.
Okay, because I'm going to put um, something at the top there. Um, this, um, I'm going to leave that for a minute. And that one, because I'm going to emboss that. Right, okay. That one there. I'm going to do those two. This one, I'm not sure what I'm going to put on the front there. And I've got ink that one up as well. I haven't done that yet. Um, so I've got to ink that one and that one. And this one's already been inked. So I get the golden wax out. Okay, it's picking up on the texture of the envelope. It's lovely. Okay. I lined this one because it was very thin. So, yeah. From there. All right, so I've got to ink this one up first. Actually, we could do it after. I'll do the, the gilding wax now, I think. Actually, I will ink up first because I only have to go back over it again. Oh, and also, um, I applied the, the lace around there, and I am going to stitch that because that was the bit where we had a bit missing, yeah, on the side there. So I equaled it out, you know, I folded it up and equaled it, and then I put the lace around, yeah. So it looks okay.
Okay. All right, and then we have to find a snippet for all of them. Oh, I really like that one. I'm not sure whether I want to put a snippet on. I might just put something down. What about there? Might be all right. Right, so I think we'll go to the ones that we've made. Because it's nice and dinky. saw me make this one. Oh, I better stick that down as well. Same sort of place really, isn't it? Because of the address. You've got a bit of a, a sort of gap there. So it, oh, it's a green one here. So if it goes into, I just don't want to cover this up. I just really like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave them as they are. I think because there's a lot going on with them, so it could be overkill, couldn't it? Right, and this one we can do bigger embellishment. Can't really put the address on now because of that. It won't, you know, it'll go patchy. You won't see it properly. So let's have a look. Good help. Oh, there's another nice one here, look. Okay. I think this might go at the back. I'm just thinking this is quite flat, this one, so... Same, same colour, so...
just wondered if a bit more fabric or a bit of lace behind it. I think we'll have a little leaf or something here. Yes, we have a little bit of that going over there, I reckon. It's that painting with napkins, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I just felt as though I wanted something popping out of there. Yeah, that's great. And the back. I might actually put one more leaf there. Okay. Right, I'll just go and stitch around that one. I think that's done as well. And it's done. Okay, I just went over there with a bit of gilding wax like we've been doing. And there was a little tear in here, so I just put a little washi tape underneath there. Okay. As this was the real fragile one so oh, here we go so that's that one there that one now and that one okay i think they go lovely in the journal i'm going to do so i won't be long now till i'm putting all my stuff in i'm getting there okay well thanks very much for watching then and i'll speak to you soon Bye bye